Hello, hello, hello. I want to remind you that all of us, all humans, were created to manifest. We're made to manifest. And as a coach, a healer, an on-purpose solopreneur, I'm sure you have heard about the law of attraction and you've probably been practicing it. And I'm here just to remind you how manifestation works and how you can do this intentionally so that you can manifest all the clients you want and the best life possible. So we're all created to manifest. All you've got to do is think about what you want, imagine it, and go take action. We do this all the time, whether it's the meal we're going to prepare tonight or the new car we're going to go buy. Now, because for me, when I was younger, this was all kind of challenging, I studied a lot about the law of attraction and manifestation. I even learned so much that I was divinely inspired at one point to call myself a manifestation coach. Now I think of myself as a manifesting client's mentor and vibrant speaker coach. Anyhow, I've identified seven steps, things that I've learned from others, from the books that I read, from the things that I studied, as well as my own experience in practicing these steps. So the first one is to acknowledge what you don't want so that it's not swirling down underneath your sub, like in the subconscious area and negatively impacting you. For example, this Friday, I'm doing this manifesting clients hoopla. It's an online workshop for coaches, healers, on purpose solopreneurs, and we're going to apply these seven steps there. And you know, I realized once again this morning, as I was going through these seven steps, I was swirling right under the conscious, under conscious awareness. And, and feeling, thinking, no one else is going to register for it. Well, you know, as well as I know, that if that's what I'm thinking right under there, it's going to impact what I do or don't do and how people feel about what I do or don't do because they're going to feel it. So I moved on to step number two, to claim what you do want. I want more than... 10 more additional people to register. Right now there's 11 people. I'd love to have over 20 people at Friday's Manifesting Clients Hoopla. And if you want to be one of them, you can join us. It's uh, go to manifestingclientsacademy.com forward slash hoopla. But anyhow, step number two is claim what you do want because you want to shift out of that negative place and into what you want. Step number three, clear your blocks and believe it is possible believe you will receive it. All right, let go of all the it's not possible and open to it and really imagine it happening. So you can do step number four, which is ask for it and activate the law of attraction. So I can say to myself as a person with over 20 people at my manifesting clients hoopla this week, I love the energy in the room, whatever it is, you know, as you imagine it happening. Paint the story of it. Paint the picture of it for yourself. Step number five, give thanks for it because it's coming. So thank you for all those people registering. Yay! Step number six, act on any intuition or guidance you receive. Because as you're activating that law of attraction, you're going to get impulses on things to do. So I'm open to them. Step number seven, allow yourself to change. So as long as I'm swirling in that negative place and being that person, I'm not going to be the person who opens up to 20 or more wonderful people coming to my event and having that energy in the room, right? We've got to be different. So my friends, if you want to join me Friday and practice applying these seven steps to new manifesting clients, Go to manifestingclientsacademy.com forward slash hoopla, H-O-O-P-L-A, manifestingclientsacademy.com forward slash hoopla. It's only $47 and it's a fun, interactive, useful, impactful event. I hope to see you there. Bye.